everyone, so today I wanted to bring you another Ballroom Basics video and I got a request to talk about tanning for a couple minutes. So I thought I'd film a very quick video today because I know competition season is literally starting like, or maybe it already started this past week. I know um, Cornell is having a competition very soon, so it's Yale, uh, Maryland. And I think there's going to be a couple in New Jersey as well. So there are a lot of things coming up. Um, I will be attending some of them. And as you all know, you do have to tan for ballroom. It's been that way for many, many years. I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning behind it is. Um, the only explanation that I've ever heard from people is that it is... Um, sort of a way to look healthy, quote unquote. So if you're like super pale, it's not as attractive rather than if you are like nice and bronze and tan. So, I mean, that's the reasoning I heard. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but I thought I'd share it to you guys anyway. So there are pretty much three options that you have for tanning. Now, the first one is to get spray tanned. Uh, the second one is to do soft tan at home, and then the other one is do an instant tanner um, at home as well. So two at home and one that you can do like, you know, for a few dollars. So if you want to tan, no matter what, you always have to exfoliate your skin right before that. I think that's, um, that's pretty basic and pretty understandable because you want to make sure that you like get rid of all the... Um, all the flaky skin um, and your tanner applies evenly. Now if you do want your tanner to go on evenly and you don't have to worry about it, doing it yourself then spray tanning is probably your best option. They're not super expensive. I know a lot of tanning um, places give you a, a ton of coupons and also like buy two get one free and all that stuff and honestly I think they cost between like 10 and 20 dollars so if you have a super major competition coming up and you really want to like put your best foot forward and you know kind of have everything done then spray tanning is a good way to go. Now the second option is to do spray tanning at home. Now there are a couple things that I like personally. Um, the first one is the Victoria's Secret Bronze Glow Body Lotion and I've had this for a few years. This is another bottle that I picked up recently and what I like about this one is that they blend into your skin very, very nicely. Now the second option I have is their Instant uh, Glow Bronzing Mousse. Kind of a similar idea except this is a mousse and this is sort of like a liquid lotion. Both work very well. Now they are very, very scented because this is Victoria's Secret. However, unlike the drugstore tanners like from Sally Hansen or the very, very popular uh, ballroom one called Sex Symbol, it's, um, you know, they, I've noticed that they do not rub off on my clothes. Not on my clothes, not on my dresses. So if you are using, like, I don't know, a, a tanner that you have, be very, very careful to make sure that you do not get tanner all over your dress because it's going to make it... A, it's not going to look good, and B, it's going to make it really hard for you to resell your dress in the future. Um, I mean, let's be honest, I don't usually wear a dress for more than a year or so, just because I kind of get OCD and I want to get something new for, you know, the new competition season. Um, and what you end up doing is you just kind of resell your old dress and buy a new one. And yeah, nobody wants to buy a dirty dress. I mean, that's just a given. Like, why would you want to sell a dress with, like, tanner stains all over it? That is disgusting like even if you dry clean it tanner does not come off very easily so be very 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 careful when you are using like actual um self tanners um now if you do want to go for those i really do recommend the victoria's secret ones they just they smell incredible and what i like is that they apply very very evenly i haven't had any issues um looking blotchy so even if for example I don't exactly know how to explain it, but somehow, like, the tanner just distributes very nicely on the body. Um, so, I don't know, this is the, the lotion that I have, and what you have to do is you want to make sure you kind of shake it up to get all the product mixed up, and, oh, also, these ones sparkle, so I like that a lot. Um, and so what I do is, you know, just kind of apply a little bit, I'll just do a little demo, and I like just how they look on your skin. They're not super tan, what they kind of do is they just sort of enhance 
like your natural glow if that makes sense so that's why they sort of go on very nicely and like I said I haven't had issues with these rubbing off on my clothes because they dry very very nicely and I don't particularly sweat that much some people do some people sweat less so I'm usually okay like I can use these to have competition and I'm usually fine so now the third option is the gradient self tanner and the one that I personally like is the Jergens natural glow express body moisturizer so these are best to use if you know you have a competition coming up like in a few days or a couple weeks um this one is for fair to medium skin tones and the express one jump starts natural looking color in just about one day versus the regular I think takes maybe like two three days to start developing um I really like these simply because you can kind of build up the tan as much as you want versus you know here it, you know you already have like product on and I mean you can build it up too but it's I don't know this seems a little bit more even now the best thing about this one is that this does not rub off on your skin however it does take time to develop so you know if you need something the day of I would definitely recommend like the ones from Victoria's Secret um if you know you have some time then definitely go for the gradient soft tanner and what I like about the Jergens ones specifically is that um they completely like relaunched their uh, tanner products because um they smell really bad. Now they actually don't smell as horrible. Like I was, um, I was in the store the other day and I was just looking at their new line of products and they're totally fine. Like they have still a little bit of that fake tanner smell, but it's not that bad. Like it's definitely much nicer. So the best thing to do is just, you know, like hop in the shower the night before or the day of, make sure you exfoliate your skin super, super well, and then either follow up with the gradient, uh, no, just like the regular self tanner, or if you have a couple days, then start building up the gradient self tanner. Um, and you know, because this is moisturizer, it just kind of absorbs into your skin and you're fine. It's much easier to distribute this evenly rather than this one. So that's also another huge plus. I feel like I'm kind of rambling, but I really prefer the lotions because you really are sort of in the very very safe zone um they might not give you as much of a color payoff for example but i think it looks the most natural and also the safest for your dresses so that's something to consider um and yeah that's about it also i mean i like to do these the night before so that way even if i have a little bit of like that scent of that fake tanner scent it kind of goes away overnight um, and then you just kind of reapply it at night and then you're fine for the next day. So these are some of the products that I totally, totally love. As I've mentioned, the Victoria's Secret um, Bronzing Glow Body Lotion, the Bronzing Glow um, Bronzing Instant Glow Bronzing Mousse, um, the Jergens uh, Natural Glow. This is the Express. They also just have the regular kind. And uh, the salt scrub I use is the one from Borges. It was just like one of the gift for purchases type things but honestly any scrub will do make sure that it's like very very um gritty and that you have like a very good exfoliated skin so yeah I mean that's just a I always think my videos are super quick but I'm pretty sure they're not because they end up like 10 minutes long so I hope I wasn't rambling too much but I do hope this was rather helpful to you guys again make sure that you do not get tanner all over your dress because that's like the ugliest thing and it also makes it very difficult to resell. I hope this was super helpful to you guys. I'm like flailing my arms around everywhere. So I will talk to you in another video. Bye.